The oil seals seal against the pump's pistons. They prevent the pump oil from leaking out and prevent water from entering the oil reservoir. Over time, the oil seals can wear and fail. This will eventually lead to damage to the pistons, wobble plate, and the shaft bearing. Replacing the oil seals is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the pump from the engine. And with the fasteners removed, now I can remove the pump. Now I'll remove the detergent hose. I find it's easiest to just simply cut it away from the pump. And then I'll use a utility knife to remove the last little piece. With the pump removed, now I can separate it into its three major components. It's secured with four bolts, and the pump is under spring tension. So first, I'll remove two bolts, and then remove the other two slowly. Now I'll remove the pistons from the housing. With the pistons removed, now I can remove the oil seals. Now we can install the new oil seals. I'll insert the oil seal into the pump housing firmly. With the seals installed, now I can reinstall the pistons. Now I'll reinstall the spacers and reconnect the two halves of the pump. And now I'll secure the two halves of the pump back together. If you spill the oil or just decide to replace it, the correct oil is 15W40 and it needs to be a non-detergent oil. You'll fill the oil reservoir until the oil is about an eighth of an inch above the height of the wobble plate. I'll place the pump onto the oil reservoir, install two of the screws through the housings, and I'll compress the springs on the pistons until I can get the bolts started. I'll slowly tighten the first two bolts until the pump is drawn together.
And now I can install the other two bolts. I'll go ahead and reconnect the detergent hose. To reinstall the pump, first I'll need to reinstall the key onto the motor shaft. I'll align it with the keyway, and now I can install the pump. I'll align the keyway on the pump shaft with the key on the motor shaft, and then slide the pump into place. And I'll finish by securing the pump. And that's all it takes to replace the oil seals in your pressure washer. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.